everybody. This is Lilla in Hawaii. I was going to show you how I sort of set up to make one of the shabby lace and textile and um, paper books. I sort of have a formula and so I'll just show you how I go about it. So the first thing I do is I grab about oh eight or ten pieces of ephemera some pieces of old lace, some pieces of paper that was in um, a dress pattern, the, the pattern paper, and then some tea bags that I've emptied the tea out and let them dry and then ironed them flat. And then I think I'm pretty much ready to, to start. I decide upon a size, and I always go with similar size, either 4 by 6 or three and a half by five, something around that seems to be a good size. And the way I set them up is I start in the middle with the double pages. And, the, and my method is I start with the biggest pieces first. So I've got a big piece of paper from a dress pattern, that's first. And then I've got a piece, oh, I think I've got this upside down actually. Okay, let's try this way. Okay, and see if this all works out. This way, this is, then the next biggest piece was some music from France actually. And then I put in some lace. Then I try and put something in between all of the ephemera. Then there's this piece, which is the next biggest piece, and it's a little bit crinkled fabric. It's also some France, from France. Then the next piece would be a piece of lace that I've cut that's kind of the same size. So that goes next. And then the next thing is some more paper from a book. And in this case I paint it in stripes with some watercolor paint back and front to give it a nice look, just to add a little interest. Instead of using just white gesso or something, I like to use a pastel. The next size piece is this from a French dictionary, then some fabric pieces, old linen from France, beautiful old linen. And this was a piece from a workshop I went to, it was sort of the advertising for it. And here's another piece of the tissue. And the pieces are getting smaller, if you notice, and then I love the way they're all poking out on the side. Little pieces of lace, pieces of tissue. I don't mind that at all. I wouldn't certainly wouldn't cut them even. Then the next thing is a book page, and it's getting smaller, if you notice. And then I've got this piece of lace, eyelet lace, really old piece I cut up. Some more tissue there. Another book page. And then here's a piece of ephemera. This was an old receipt from France. That goes next. Got a, the original stamp on it. Some more lace. This is a smaller piece of lace, of course. And some old linen from France, right there. I think I coffee dyed that piece. And then the very last thing is I've made a cover by sewing together about three or four pieces of the tissue paper. And I fold it in half, and that goes on there. So that's basically the cover, and all these lovely pieces there. And then to decorate, I put a piece of old lace, let me see which side, yeah, that, on top. This is going to be all sewn, of course. And then on top of that, let me see, where am I? Ooh, it flew away. Here we go. On top of that, I had a, I made a card fold it in half, put some old script here, and then this is the tea bag paper that I emptied the tea out of and I dyed it and I sewed on a button and I sewed on this word petit papier because it is a little book of paper. Now that goes along with, I've got to hold that all together, then that goes along with two pockets let me see if I can put that down without it flying away. Two pockets that are made of 
the tissue, which I just folded, sewed up the sides, and it's a little pocket. And you can put tags in that. And here's the other one. It says Journey. The same thing. It's got lace on the bottom. And also, it's a little pocket. So these could be glued inside. So that's part of this. It's a kit. So this would be part of it. Then I made two figments. I call them lace figments. Just, you know, just little lace pieces that you can cut up and add to your pages. And there's another one of those. And then I've got a lovely piece of scrim. Oh, I love this stuff. Piece of lovely old scrim. Tied it up with some old twine that goes with it. And then the whole thing ties together with this old muslin. Tea dyed muslin. So that's a kit, and this is for sale if you're interested. But that's how I go about making these. And I've made several, and I do have several kits available. If you're interested, please get in touch with me at my email, which will be listed below. And um, thank you for watching. I hope the lighting was all right. I tried a different location for this. So thanks for watching again. Happy New Year, everybody. Goodbye.